You're welcome back to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Let's now talk sports. German tactician Gennot Rohr has given reasons why he feels the three-time African champions cannot clinch the coveted trophy. Nigerian national team coach uh, expressed his pessimism about Nigeria's winning chances of winning the World Cup. That's with the current players at his disposal. Recall that the best outings of the Super Eagles at the global tournament were back in 1994, 1998, and 2002 when they reached the round of 16. Raw led the West African side to their sixth appearance at the 2018 edition in Russia, where they crashed out of the group stage. Raw was recently handed a new two year deal that could lead the three time. African champions to the next outing at the global tournament. He however believes that Super Eagles cannot win the global tournament because many of the players are not playing in top clubs. Let's now introduce Wally Scott here. Um, how encouraging is this statement from the team coach? Naturally, it's not encouraging. You, you can't um, tell your players they're not good enough to win anything. You, people, nobody does that. Um, look at Jose Mourinho. Everybody talks about him and says he's a snob, social snob, blah, blah, blah. blah. Mourinho will tell you after his team loses, the best team lost. That's the idea. You don't discourage your players. It's not normal. Nobody does that. And um, I think that um, Raw will be wrong in saying that because, um, let me give you an example. In um, USA 94 at the World Cup, um, we played against Bulgaria in our first match in USA 94. Now, Bulgaria was ranked number one in the world then. They have the best players in the world. Hristo Stoichkov, Kashmir Balakov, and we beat them 3 0. And if we can do that then, then we can still do it now. And um, I think it's a case of Genoro saying to his boys, no matter how hard you guys try, you can never win the world. So, so does it, is it justifiable to say simply because they don't play for top clubs? That's, that's one of the reasons why they can't I don't win. think so. I know for one that um, a few years ago, there was the, the, there's the European League, the European League, where top European countries come together and play. And Greece so stunned the world by winning it. And there was no player in that team who played in a big club for mm. Greece. And they still stunned is the this, world. Is this his own way of judging the actual quality of players that he has? I mean, he might describe it as you don't play for top clubs in the world, but is it maybe his own way of saying that I've, I've seen these you know, couple of players that I have um, and I don't think that they are, you know, the quality that will go far enough in the World Cup. This is like um, talking from both sides of his mouth at this point now, because let me give you an example. Um, he says he can't work with the Nigerian-based players because they are not good enough. And the only ones that can make, get him what he wants are the ones who play actually abroad. And then you now come and say, these same guys you have picked over our Nigerian-based players cannot win the World Cup. He tells them outrightly. He, he agrees technically they are good, they are sound, they are doing well, then what's with the problem? It's that case of a bad workman blaming his tools. If they're not good enough, make them good enough. That's why we actually employ the way to make, qualify them for major tournaments, if possible, win them. So what do you think he, 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 he lacks? I, um, because you, you can praise them all you want, but if they're not going to deliver what you expect them to deliver, then, you know, there's, it's all just, you know, hype. Yes, you, know, you, you and I know there's a large possibility that um, the crop of the Nigerian footballers right now cannot win the World Cup. Oh. So you, you agree, agree, you agree, you agree. With To a large extent, yes. We are not just ripe enough for it. The only time I felt an African country would have been able to win the World Cup was Cote d'Ivoire. When there was Didio Drogba, Yaya Toure, Kolo Toure, it was a massive team. Didio Zokora, they could have won the World Cup then. But um, for some reason, it didn't happen. But is any African country ready to win the World Cup? I don't know. Honestly, I don't think so. But it's not up to the coach. Maybe we, the analysts, we, the critics, can do that. But not the coach of the team. But I'm thinking you would also agree that there are times, because you use the Jose Mourinho example, there are times when he's also spoken bad about his players. He's also yes, said when they, when they play crappy. badly, yes. Mourinho will say, today was a bad day for us. Today was a bad day for us. We'll make it better next time. I've never heard Mourinho say, this is a bad team. They're not doing well. They can't do well. They can't mm. win anything. I've never heard him say that. No, but there are times when he said stuff like that. He said that the crop of players and the, and the, the, um, the energy and the interest that they have in playing is not enough to win anything. I've heard him, when he was well, a coach of Manchester United. Manchester he United, yes. He said that he needs, I think that was his swipe at the board of Manchester mm. United. They're not giving so me. Can get a wrong yeah, make the same swipe? He, 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 well, to, a large, the same to a large extent, yes. Because some school of thoughts are saying that they're not giving Raw what he wants. They're not playing the players regularly. They're not um, 
paying them their, their, their stipends regularly. They're not getting what they should get when they should get it. The management is bad and all that. And so General Rob might be taking a swap at the Guys, I'm not giving me what I want. How, how, how can you get the best from... No. Well, well, he hasn't been paid for like five months. The goalkeeper trainer hadn't been paid for like 20 months. They gave Rob three months from his money. They gave the goalkeeper trainer from 20 months, giving four months from the money. You can't get the best. So, do you people. think maybe that's one of the things? Maybe he's taking a swipe, like you said earlier. Maybe like Mourinho took a, took a swipe at the manual management. Just maybe. Roy is taking this up as guys. You're not giving me what I want. I can't give you guys what he wants. If you think these guys will win the World Cup, why not? Pay, why not give me well? I want you guys well too. Maybe it's a swipe. Maybe just say, okay, guys. Maybe he's threatening us. Let's just give him some of his money. Again. Maybe we'll do something right. Because I think I watched the Nigeria Super Eagles play a friendly before COVID hits against. Ukraine and against almighty Brazil. And the Brazilian team said that they came to revenge against the Olympic win when Cano scored the goal against them. Mm -hmm. And they came with the whole squad. Neymar, everybody was in that squad. And we drew one off. We actually scored first. You know, and we gave them a run for their money. And Neymar was the one making noise, Nigeria, okay, this is our revenge time. And he left the field crying. Mm -hmm. That's the cup of players that we have. We give, right, we give Ukraine. Well, of course, coached by Andrei Shevchenko. We gave them a run for their money, too. Both matches ended in a draw. Not already could say they took a, a chance over Nigeria. Mm. So if you ask players like Joe Aribo, Alex Iwobi, these are world-class players. Yes, you might, you might not be in Man U, might not be in Chelsea or Arsenal, but they are world-class. How can mm. you say these guys can't do well? I am not saying they can win the World Cup. But you don't look at a young boy, a growing boy like Chukwueze. Okay. A growing boy, I'm telling you. All right, let's go. let's quickly wrap up with the the match coming up in um, in March. The match coming up in March. Smart one, Aneta. It's the African Cup of Nations Club. Oh, Nigeria would we'll be playing who? The playing Republic of Bene as well as uh, Lesotho. Lesotho. So I don't know. What are your what are your expectations for that match? Ordinarily, technically, I don't see uh, any of our matches in those teams. Lesotho, Bene Republic. Come on, you know. But um, like I said, um, the General Raw came to Nigeria and told us to our faces, listen, I am going to go, only going to depend on the players who play their trade abroad. We call him the internet coach in the sports world, you know. He goes on the internet, looks for a Nigerian in Uzbekistan, Afghanistan, Kazakhstan, and brings him to play for Nigeria. Mm. However, he has, he has built a good team. My point is, don't discourage them. Even if we can't make the World Cup, we all know Or oh, don't discourage them openly. Do they, do, well... I'm, I'm, I understand, you know. You are the, saying he's speaking the truth. Yes. Of psychology, we can't win. You know, yeah, we can't win the World Cup, no doubt. You know, but it's not up to you, the coach, to tell your boys that. Yeah. No. Well, I'm just. I, I just. I know. Understand. You know how important psychology is. You know, with, um, you know, motivating players to do better. You know, and all of that. But I think we also mm. need. I feel you know. There's also you know the part where we need to be truthful to ourselves. Um, yes. There's a lot. There's a lot of challenges that we have with truthful to ourselves. Like you, like you just mentioned. He looks for players in Kazakhstan and everywhere in the, in the world and brings them together. And it's built a good team. And it, it's, it's also necessary, you know, that we have players that can, can bond, you know, players that have played together for a long time. You yeah. don't change, you know, a new name every, every, every two weeks. Um, yeah, so but he, he has to speak the truth. I agree with you on that. Yes to the management, yes to the players, but not towards the public. He needs to be paid a salary also. <laughs> yeah, I don't Indeed. know. <laughs> okay. So many angles right. to this conversation. Well, Thank you, Wally Scott, Thank for your you, time on The Breakfast. Thank you. All right, All that's right. where we um, wrap it up this morning. Yes, it's that's been where we wrap uh, it up. very interesting. We call, they call it Hump Day. Um, that's what Wednesdays are called. And uh, <laughs> we want to wish you all, all a very beautiful Hump Day ahead. Um, see you again tomorrow morning. If you missed out on any of these parts of you know the conversations we had, yes. uh, including the pangolins, um, petrol price, and of course electricity tariff, um, you can catch up on uh, our social media handles at Plus TV Africa on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Same with our YouTube channel. Yes, and key takeaways from Magic Odumi's, Mr. Magic Odumi's speech: Do love nature. Have a great Wednesday.